It was immediately after a lecture I'd given on the impact of the Cold War on the modern era that a student approached me and asked what this Soviet onion was all about. That's when I knew we had a problem. I'm Associate Professor Andrew Phillips. And I'm Associate Professor Sarah Percy, and we both teach international relations at the University of Queensland. We were facing a number of challenges with our undergraduates coming to class, some of whom didn't have a lot of historical knowledge, and there are good reasons for this. A lot of them were actually born before a lot of major world events happened, including things like the 9-11 attacks and the war in Iraq in 2003. We found that when students didn't have this knowledge, they also struggled to um, discuss certain concepts because they didn't have the foundations that they needed to be able to do it. So by giving them this knowledge in advance, we were able to create better classroom discussions. In order to actually give the knowledge to the students, we recorded a series of podcasts with content experts both on and off campus. Some interviews were recorded using web conferencing tools. This audio only format can be used in any discipline where you need to produce a higher volume of material than you can with video and allows students to gain this knowledge in situations where reading or viewing a screen isn't practical. One of the main benefits we found from having made these podcasts is we can use them to increase active learning in the classroom. So by listening to a podcast in advance, that frees up time where you can have more interesting discussions in the class. For example, we recorded a fantastic podcast on Afghanistan and the war with some of the world's leading experts on the topic. The students listened to that. They came to class prepared for a discussion about at which point that war turned into a quagmire. We were able to do some really effective small group discussion even inside the larger lecture theater around that question because we had made these podcasts in advance. We think that these podcasts can be used in a variety of disciplines where students need to have some foundational historical knowledge, and we anticipate that they're going to be made widely available for any discipline at the university that wishes to use them. Mm-hmm.